very positive. We were talking earlier about the quality tilt to the buying. Look at low volatility ETF versus the high beta ETF uh, over a couple days. You see over this week, actually, and you see, obviously, it's very pronounced uh, story right there. And then the volatility index is playing along. It's down in the low 30s right now. It looks like it's made uh, a pretty, you know, dramatic peak on that chart. The issue is the market's just been too volatile in both directions right now. It's hard to see it really receding too much soon, sooner, but it's, it's going in the right direction. Uh, we've got just uh, about two minutes left of the session. Let's check in on bonds, Rick Santelli. Well, the last hour is making a difference on the longer maturities. Look at an intraday of two, still down four basis points. But as you move down the curve, yields keep moving higher. Look at an intraday of tens. It's now up three basis points. Looks like we're not going to get a historic close. And all the spreads are steepening. Tens minus twos at 36, steepest since June of 18. 30s minus 10s called the knob on this trading floor, steepest since September of 17. So we're going to continue to watch the long maturities gain traction. And Bertha, this last rally put us into the green for the year. Yeah, and it looks like we're going to stay there at least into the close. Apple, in fact, back positive, just shy of yesterday's high following that surprise rate cut. Chips have been very strong today, the best day in two years on those big gains. And we're also seeing a big recovery when it comes to health care. The drug makers, the biotech makers also seeing their best day in two years as Bernie Sanders' uh, chances of winning uh, and his Medicare for all seem to ebb. And some of the health care services as well riding that rally today. Bob. Uh, we are just melting up again. Melt ups, melt downs, it doesn't matter, but everything 2 to 4% healthcare, semis, industrials, consumer staples, home builders even outperforming. Of course, Bertha mentioned all the drug names here. Pfizer is up 6%. Uh, but we even see credit card companies doing well again back up. Uh, they were under pressure for a while, not anymore. Big move up in American Express. We are closing the day at the highs. Dow Jones Industrial Average up almost 1,200 points. The S&P 500, a 4.2% gain.